The first thing you want to do is remove the battery out of the bike. So you'll need your key. After that, you'll need a 13 millimeter socket. There'll be four nuts under the seat and one in front. For this demonstration, I already took out the five nuts. Um, two right here, two right here, one in front. Now we have access to the controller. Mine was previously removed, so it might look a little different than your layout, um, but this is still the stock controller. So we're just gonna disconnect everything here. Uh, here's the battery. Rear tail light. Headlight. Motor wires. Pedal assist. The wiring to the front of the bike. And this is the hall sensor for the motor. Once you disconnect all of that, the controller's fully disconnected. In your new kit, you'll find this string that I've included. This will help you pull the front wiring out and route the new one back in using this string. So what you're gonna do is take one of these looped ends and this is a this will be the wiring that goes to the front. You're gonna loop it around, tighten it around the connector, just like that. Now the other end, this will be the safety just in case you pull too hard. You don't want this string to go through the frame also. So what I'm gonna do is just pick any connector. I'll use the pedal assist right here and I'll loop the other end through the pedal assist connector. So if I do pull too hard on accident through the frame, this will catch it. So you'll see that there's rubber grommets around the front and the back of the holes. In this demonstration, I removed it just to make pulling a little easier since it won't grab onto the grommet. You'll have two wires that run through here. One will be for the controls. The second wire will be for your headlight. Your headlight wiring will no longer need to be used in here, so you can pull this out completely on its own, which is a smaller wire. Now the only wire left in there is your control one, and this one you need to route the new cable back through. So what I'll do now is pull from here. And you'll see that the wire is going through. Now once you get to the end, you can stop right there. We'll undo this. And you can leave that for now. Now here's your new wiring that comes with the kit. Um, so we'll run this one through the frame. So you can take that end with the nine pins. And you also want this grommet. So I'll remove this from the old wiring. The first thing I'm gonna feed through this connector is gonna be the grommet. And after that, I'll attach this string to the end of the connector. And now we'll pull this new wiring through the frame. So I'll come over to this, the back end of it, and I'll start pulling this string. And with my left hand, I'll guide the wiring through. Now, once you get to the end of the string, give it a good pull. And you can grab that wiring, feed it through. So now we have our new wiring ran. And now we don't need this string anymore. And don't forget the grommet. Now you'll want to take off the stock LCD screen. For mine, it's already removed, but there'll be three millimeter Allens. There's four of them at the bottom. The button control itself We'll use a single 2.5 millimeter Allen. And to get the 
button control off, you have to take off the grip, the brake lever, the throttle. To do that, the grip uses a single three millimeter Allen here. The throttle uses a three millimeter Allen also. And the brake lever uses a single four millimeter. So first, once you get everything loosened, There's a plug on the end of the bar. What I'll do is I'll pull this grip across to the left to get that plug to come out a little bit. And then I'll finish it off with my hands. So now the grip could come out. The brake lever. The throttle. And now you can access the button control. Once we get the new LCD and the button control mounted, we can undo the wiring for the old harness. So the new harness will look like this. You'll have one wire going through the bottom. This is your headlight. You'll have two yellow or orange on top. This, these are your brake lever switches. This one will be your throttle. And the green one is for the LCD screen. So now we're just gonna plug all that up. And just a quick correction, on your harness, the two brake ones will be red, not orange. And now back here, we'll connect the new controller. Now that we got the controller on, we could reinstall the seat and put the battery back in. Once we have the battery back in, we could press the power button and give it a try. And there you go.